Hello everyone and welcome to the beginning of my honeymoon travel vlog series. We are kicking off the honeymoon with a trip to LA. The time is currently 4.11pm on Thursday the 4th of April and it's kind of confusing because we left New Zealand at like 7.30pm on Thursday the 4th but obviously because we're going like back in time today is kind of like a bonus day in our itinerary but it also is a little bit disorientating because like we didn't sleep very much on the plane like last night slash this morning so yeah it's a little bit confusing um but we checked into our airbnb about 45 minutes ago we couldn't check in until three but we got here at like two o'clock so luckily we were able to leave our bags here while the cleaners were finishing up and we walked to the grove because it's like 10 minutes walk from where we we're staying so uh, we went there we went to the cheesecake factory uh for a little bit of lunch and now we have like showered refreshed uh and we're about to get an uber to go to griffith Griffith Observatory. Thought I would also just give you a quick little apartment tour of the Airbnb that we're staying in in LA. I'm pretty sure this is like the Melrose area. I don't really know all of like the different districts and borough of LA. But yeah, we're staying by the Grove. And this is what a little apartment looks like. So we've got a cute little kitchen there. And then we have the bed with Nick. We have a cute little sitting area over here. And then if you come through over here, we just have a... Uh, a little bathroom. So yeah, we are going to order an Uber and go and see some sights of LA. We decided to actually walk from Griffith Observatory down to Griffith Park and then from there down to Hollywood Boulevard which took us about an hour or two I want to say we weren't exactly like walking very fast we were kind of just like walking along admiring the view as well and then from Hollywood Boulevard or Hollywood Walk of Fame we walked to the In-N-Out which is on Sunset and we had In-N-Out for dinner which I was very happy with as I said before I think I'd been like craving that for like two years um, we also just stopped by CVS on our way home. We got some beer and then we also got oh, some cereal and some little treats there. There's some like uh, double stuffed Oreos and some goldfish crackers as well. Um, so yeah, I think I'm actually just going to get ready for bed and hop into bed because I'm so tired. We have another busy day tomorrow and I'm looking forward to showing you guys uh, what we're doing. So I'm going to sign off for day one in LA and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Hello, today is Friday and we are off to Universal today which will be fun. I have been here once before, my last trip to America in 2016 I want to say, um, so it'll be cool to go back. Though of course the one ride that I didn't go on last time that I wish I had gone on was like the Jurassic Park log flume ride whatever um, and at the moment they're turning that into like a Jurassic World themed ride so it's not open so I'm a little bit bummed about that but it's still going to be a really fun day. Jet lag wise when I woke up this morning I thought I was all good but now that I'm like up and about I'm not too sure. Um, I feel like I got at least like seven hours or so of sleep last night which I think is pretty good. Um, I woke up at six o'clock and only because the person who's living above us turned their blender on and it was like super loud in our flat so yeah I'm a little bit sleepy. I've already had one coffee and I definitely think I'm gonna need a bit more but yeah I hope we are like kicking this jet lag because on this trip we're going to a bunch of different places that have a bunch of different time zones so the one thing that I was worried about was that like through changing so many different time zones that our body was just gonna like have no clue what was up so yeah fingers crossed it all works out um anyway we are just about to order an uber and go to Universal so I'll see you there <laughs> Universal today it was so much fun it was really cool to go back and go on some new rides that I hadn't gone on last time I was there 
um, and just like experience it with Nick because I think that's only his second theme park that he's ever been to. The first one we went to was um, uh, Copenhagen when we went a couple years ago. Um, now the jet lag is definitely hitting us pretty hard. Um, I had a nap in the Uber on the way home um, and poor Nick isn't feeling very well so instead of going out for dinner tonight we have actually just ordered um, some Five Guys which I'm excited about. So with that being said I'm going to sign off for now and then I guess I'll just see you on Saturday. Welcome to Saturday in LA. Today is actually a sunny day. I don't know if you can see the blue sky behind me. Um, and it actually feels a little bit warmer than it has been the last few days which is nice. So we're definitely going to make the most of the sun today. Uh, our first stop is to go to Grand Central Market for breakfast. <laughs> I wasn't sure how it was going to be having like 360 views like that of a city that's so flat but it was actually really cool to see. Um, and now we are on to something that I've been looking forward to since we got to LA which is going to Milton Bar. We're also going to go to one while we're in New York but I'm also really excited to have some milk bar while we're in LA as well. Okay time for a mini milk bar haul. We decided to get to take away a slice of the crack pie which if you don't know what this is it's essentially like a pie that Christina Tossi made Tossi Tossi made um for like all the crew at the restaurant that she used to work at and it just was so addictive that they decided to call it crack pie so it's a bit of an interesting name um and then we also got some um birthday truffles so the crack pie and also their like birthday cake is what um milk bar are known for but obviously we're not going to eat a whole cake so we decided to get some truffles of these and a piece of this. So, time to try. Cheers. Mmm. Okay, that's pretty good. I can see why it's so addictive. Okay, and now for the birthday truffle. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Prefer that instead. You prefer the truffle instead of the crepe pie? Mm hmm. That truffle is very good. It's very sugary. I don't think I could eat like a whole piece of cake. Um, but if you're from New Zealand and if you've ever had the birthday cake wooden spoon ice cream, which is also something that I'm addicted to, that tastes pretty much like a truffle version of that. I guess because they're both like vanilla ice cream with sprinkles, but very good. Definitely looking forward to going back to Milk Bar while we're in New York and trying a few more things. Okay, it's a little bit later on now and we are just waiting for our friends Kieran and Tanani to pick us up um, because we're all going to go out for dinner which will be pretty fun. I don't think I've seen them for like two years so it's definitely going to be cool to catch up. They are both from New Zealand but they moved to LA a couple years ago. We went to a place called Everly for dinner and it was really good uh, while we were waiting for our food. Jason Siegel walked in and was like happily having dinner by himself so that was our first celebrity uh, spot since we've been in LA. Then we went for a couple drinks. We ended up going to a bar called Tramp Stamp Granny's, which was really cool. It's like a piano bar where like the pianist is singing like pop songs and everyone just stands around the piano and sings along, which was really cool. If there was more bars like that in Wellington, I would definitely consider going out a lot more than I currently do. Um, and yeah, it was really lovely to see Tanani and Karen. I hadn't seen them, as I said, for like a really long time. So it was really lovely to catch up and just hang out. Today is Sunday and is our last full day in LA which is crazy that like this first part of our honeymoon is almost over. Um, we're actually leaving this Airbnb today and we are going to Santa Monica and we're staying in a hotel there for the night um, because when we booked this um, LA Airbnb we hadn't really like planned our full itinerary yet in terms of like all the other places that we'd be traveling to and then we couldn't stay here an extra night we couldn't like add it on to the booking so we've just found somewhere else to stay which will be all good because we haven't actually explored Santa Monica yet so We've planned it well, I think. Like the weather today is like the best it's been since we've been in LA. So it'll be a good day to go to the beach. So tonight we're staying in a place called Hotel Irwin uh, in Santa Monica. And we just came here. What is the time? It's like, it's still pretty early. It's 9.30 in the morning. We can't check in until, well, we couldn't check in until three, but we just came to drop our bags so we could go 
exploring and they actually had a room ready so we've already been able to check in which is awesome so I'll give you a little bit of a tour um, first of all I'm just going to show you the bit of the view that we have which is pretty cool so that's Venice Beach that's what we can see from our little balcony which is pretty cool and then this is the room so we've got a big bed this is really cool like mural of a bunch of people's hands over there and then you just walk around here and then you've got like the bathroom kind of out in the open so it's lucky we're friends and then in there is like the toilet and the shower so yeah pretty cute little room <laughs> We're staying at Hotel Irwin has a rooftop bar. I think it's called High from the looks of all the signage that was around it. Um, but we went up there just before to grab some drinks and our plan was to grab some tuppers for dinner while we we're there as well. But um, it was super busy. I think that's just us being probably quite ignorant. But one of the things that like we never thought about when we were coming to LA is that like most places you either need to have a booking like quite far in advance or you just have to like wait in a line for a long time or like there's just like a massive waiting list. So we were gonna um, hang around and try and get some dinner but there was just like a massive waiting list and we didn't really feel like hanging about for ages because it's been another massive day. I think we've definitely done over 20,000 steps today. So instead Nick um, has just gone down to get some Uber Eats. We ordered some pizza from a place, I can't remember what it's called but I'll show you when it gets here. Um, we just ordered some pizza and we're just gonna chill out in our room um, and enjoy that. And just like that we have reached the end of our LA trip which is really sad that it's over but it definitely is a bit comforting knowing that we still have three weeks of travel to go. Um, today we are off to Vancouver so you'll see that in the next vlog. Thank you very much for watching the first video in our honeymoon series. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful week and I'll see you all later on. Bye. Thank you.